The last North American ATP tournament of the season is the Winston-Salem Open. Always known to have a quality draw the week before the US Open, this year was no exception. All of our direct entries are in the top 100. So when you have a 48 draw with every direct entry being in the top 100 means that you're gonna see every player that's playing here is playing at the US Open next week. Uh, I played well last year, Sammy's here, and I like the conditions. It's pretty. It's not easy, I gotta say. It's pretty humid and hot. It's uh, nice to play here and uh, nice to be back. Well, it's not only a week to prepare. It's a week where you want to perform and just win the tournament because it's hard to it's hard to win it. Everybody will try his best. You know, I, I'm not a big fan of getting to New York too early. So I enjoy, you know, getting the practice out here and just, you know, the, the peacefulness of this turn before, you know, you get to New York and it becomes a, it becomes a pretty hectic week. We know that every single point counts and uh, it makes it nice because these 250 events, especially at this time of the year, they start uh, becoming more important and uh, wanted to come here and try to work out those kinks. I think we are playing good, the points will come on, so we're focusing on being a good couple again. Last year's finalists returned to Winston-Salem as the top two seeds. For defending champion Pablo Carreño Busta, being back at the scene of his maiden title in 2016 brought back fond memories. It was my first ATP title, so for me it's really nice to come back, I think for my confidence and for, for continuing growing up. Uh, I'm playing good, I think I'm playing better than last year. Pablo and me, we, we, we thought the same. We wanted to, to play some matches before New York and that's why we are here. The conditions are very similar to, to New York, so I'm getting used to the Wilson Youth Open Ball and the conditions and I hope to play uh, good matches here and get ready for the Youth Open. The event also featured a strong next-gen presence with four of the top eight in the Emirates ATP race to Milan. I really like it here. Uh, you have everything you need to prepare good. Tennis uh, is a tough sport, you play every week, so this is a chance for me to get back into my form before US Open. It's a good place to play tournament and ready for the US Open, but we have to see a little a little bit more, so every tournament is important for me, so I'm trying to focus on every tournament. Now is the moment when uh, I'm going to play main tournaments with uh, good players, top players, and I have to be ready because to, to compete with them is it's really tough and you have to be ready. It's amazing. I mean, uh, you can train uh, as much as you want basically per day and the gym. Uh, I'm here also, I think two years ago. Uh, it's been very nice, but it's, uh, it's only getting better. Alongside Stockholm, the tournament was voted ATP 250 of the year last season. It's a huge surprise to be able to win uh, the 250 tournament of the year. And it really shows that the volunteers, the staff and the city have embraced it and made the players feel so good about, about being here. I think what makes us a little different is being the week before Grand Slam, the guys really want to be putting themselves in the best position. So having a lot of practice courts means a big deal. Having the same surface, having good food, making it easy for these guys to be able to prepare for the year's final major, I think makes a big difference towards their happiness. I think it's a great tournament. It's a nice atmosphere, really quiet. I think all the players just feel good here. You have everything, you have big gym close to here, you have a lot of course, you can run in the field. It was my first time, it was last year, and I think I, I'm really enjoying it. It's a, a great tournament, you know, they treat you really good, good hotel, good court, good practice, the match, everything, environment, fans, so it's good to come here, and especially it's a good week to prepare a good tournament. Next week on ATP World Tour Uncovered, we're behind the scenes as the US Open gets underway. And it's where to make your name. We spotlight the ATP Challenger Tour. Don't forget to log on to atpworldtour.com and chat with us on the ATP's official social network, MyATP, now on Vixlet, and on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. See you next week.